Hello everybody, my name is Karen Fire and welcome back to Conan Exiles. We are on update 2.7 in the Test Live branch and we got some exciting news today. We got an update here on what they've been working on. So we've got a few fixes, a few neat little bits here and there, cheese polish, you know, kind of things like that. And uh, we'll be looking at it today. But what I noticed first thing was they were talking about this in the previous one was cascading pickup system. This is where you can pick up a building piece and if you have like a bunch above it and it's all supported on that one piece you're picking up, all of those items that were going to be destroyed will now be sent to your inventory and if you have it in your hotbar it will go into those slots as well. Um, if you have that previously selected in there or you have some in your inventory already then it will go straight there as well and in your inventory. So that is really really nice. They also have a point of interest protection system. Now this is with obelisks. You always have a little problem with obelisk on official because people are going to be trying to build near them or anything like that. But they are now protected against obstructing constructions and this new system will check against any total blockings or destroy offending structures. This is really awesome. I want to see this in play and hopefully it should help out on official PvP a little bit more or things like that. Or even PvE. Some people can get a little bit, woo, you know. <laughs> Respect your neighbor. <laughs> All right, next one. Exciting. No more rain indoors. You know when you're just going to your house, da 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 da, -da you're having a great day and suddenly it's raining. Oh no. And then you think your house will keep you dry, but no, the entirety of your house is moist. <laughs> it's raining, it's wet, it's cold, it's miserable. But now that won't be a thing, so that's going to be exciting having that. And uh, you will dry off after a little while when you go into your house. So hopefully no more wet houses, no more wet you, and that should be quite a nice addition. They also did a bunch of repairs to the Nemandian DLC with the building pieces so you could climb over them, you now will not be able to after this patch is implemented, which it's not yet, we're in test live so that means they're testing it before it comes to the official version just so you know. They did a bunch of fixes with that and made the lesser wheel of pain easier to touch and get into the inventory of. They've also gone ahead and done some AI fixes, so you know frauls would get stuck on rocks and ores and stuff like that. Well, they've done some pathfinding work on that one to hopefully get them to not get stuck on those kind of things. The undead dragon in the sinkhole should now spawn even if someone has built close to the sinkhole. So if you were wanting to complete the game and you couldn't get that final piece because that dragon wasn't spawning because someone built their very nice mansion next to the sinkhole, well, it will spawn now, so if you have your building too close, boom goes your building. <laughs> well, that's if the dragon's eating it up. If not, then it's just going to spawn anyway, and that should be two problems sorted out right there. The durability of the Shield of the Grey Ones has increased from 500 to 2000. And the amount of zeal gotten from burning the flesh of Jevil Sag has been reduced from 20 to 1. There's been a bunch of texture fixes and also some fixes to do with the elevator. It will apparently now replicate its movement correctly to all players on the server and you would have issues with trying to trigger the elevator twice. So now you should only need to click it in once and then you can go straight up. Something I was also pretty excited on seeing was the Thrall perk system is now accessible to modders. So I'm actually really excited to see what modders are going to do with this system. I actually really do want to see some good mods on this one. I'm interested what they add, what uniqueness there will be. I'm kind of also hoping for a reroll potion. <laughs> <laughs> but we will see, we will see. Um, I look forward to seeing what people create with this one and that's really nice that that is now open. And I definitely want to read this bit out because it's kind of writing genius, I love it. So they've put, in our eternal war against the evil forces of Cheese, Lieutenant of Lactose Empire, we have fixed several spots in the Warmaker Dungeon and the Grey Ones Pool where it is possible to fight bosses without retaliation. This made dealing with them less congregating Ha ha ha, then intended. Rob loves that you're full wins, cheese. That's literally what they wrote. I love it, it's great. But apart from that, that's pretty much it. The rest is a few fixes here and there, but those are the most important things I saw in this current patch. Um, this all could be subject to change, so just bear in mind with that one. 
but it should be fun to see what they bring in this patch and remember there may be more improvements in the future you know they had 2.678910 kind of thing they could have 2.7 you know 678910 going on but we'll, we'll see what they do with that one i have no date on when this is getting released there is nothing being said here about when this is coming out although they have said we are revving up the engines of 2.7 update release letting you know try this at an earlier revision we're going to be working on it during the upcoming weeks which we are aiming to release in the live servers before the christmas break so if you want an estimated time maybe a couple of weeks before christmas and that's probably when they're gonna release it so just bear in mind that is the time you will have but apart from that, that's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.